Without further ado, let's take a look at the SAP file cockpit application. What you see here is a separatable window. On the right side is where you would view a single file after you double click on it. This is where you can create, change, cut, copy, paste, undo, and search within a file. You can also download it and upload it as text from your desktop. The SAP files, these are all our old friends from Transaction AL11. These are the folders and directories that are pre-configured with SAP and more or less come with a system. Uh, how about this for a nice feature? You can actually click on a column and sort the files in the folders by whichever means you want. You want to sort by the file name, you want to sort by the owner, the date changed. All of that is part of the intuitive interface that you've got here. Here's another idea if you've got a directory that you're using frequently as you're working on some new files. How about making that into a favorite? What a novel concept. What you'll see is up above we have a favorites section. Underneath there would be your new directory A which is what we just changed. So say you're working on an interface and you just needed to jump in and make a change to some of the data you could come in here and uh, if this was your SKU number and you wanted to try a different SKU number you could do that or if you're trying to change your quantities you could do that right here and save your file changes right there. No FTP client, no notepad, uh, not using three different applications, getting confused whether the file is saved on your C drive or on the network drive or on the hard drive or on the SAP server itself. One of the features you'll love is the ability to copy and paste files and directories wherever you want. I think even most FTP clients don't have that type of functionality. It comes in really, really handy. Of course, if you're unhappy, you can just go ahead and delete. You can delete a file, a directory, and easy. I can't count the number of times that I wish I could simply look or search for a file that I needed. But unfortunately, standard, um, standard FTP clients do not embed this feature typically and you really need Unix access to be able to do that. Well here we've got it. it's just a standard feature of the tree in SAP. I wanted to find my file named orders. Maybe I don't want that one. There's another one. Keep hitting enter. You're able to keep scanning through to find all files with that same name. This is an incredibly handy feature so you're not stuck browsing through folders, sorting by names and going up and down. Again, all of these are things that are so much easier and faster than with an FTP client. While it's nice having this information on the screen, sometimes you just need to print it out and take it over and sit down with somebody and look through it. Or possibly you need to take your list and email that to your counterpart at your partner's uh, company. With the standard ALV grids, you can look at your list, you can print this out, you can download it, you can email it. Very often, we're called upon to resend files that perhaps didn't get sent during a nightly batch or if we're doing something on the fly that requires custom consideration. With the SAP file cockpit, it's easy to resend files using FTP, using the standard SAP FTP connection. Another feature you'll find handy is the ability to email files directly from within the file cockpit. So for example, say your counterpart at another company didn't receive a file last night and they want you to simply email it. You can come right into SAP Office, type up your little note, put in the recipient, hit send, and out you go through the standard SAP email client. Of course, the application wouldn't be complete without the ability to download or upload multiple files or folders. One handy feature is the ability to view the history of everything that's happened. This is our log, currently using the standard message structure and this will enable us to keep track of who did what along with standard locking mechanisms in the data dictionary to control the ability that only one person can edit a file at a given time. That's something that you can't really do at the Unix level uh, and often even on some network files.